Hey, I'm Colleen Taylor with TechCrunch TV. The tech sector is making a lot of money right now, but so far the industry hasn't been known for being the most charitable. Omakase wants to change that. And I'm sitting here with Teresa Preston Werner, who started Omakase, which is a, a whole new sort of way of thinking about charity aimed at tech people. Uh, thanks for joining us here at TechCrunch. Yeah. Uh, give, me, give me the pitch here. How did you start thinking about Omakase? What is the idea here? So I think last time you and I spoke, you, you summed it up perfectly. It's sort of a, a birch box for charity. Uh, I've run with that metaphor. I think it's fantastic. We are a monthly subscription service for curated charitable giving. So sort of like a, a charity of the month club, but we do it quarterly. We pick five organizations that we think are amazing, doing the best work out there possible, and it rotates each month. And you're somebody who has been involved in the tech industry for years now, sort of, you know, by association, because <laughs> your husband, Tom Preston Werner, yeah. is the CEO founder of GitHub. Um, and you have worked in the nonprofit sector your entire career. Um, why haven't tech people gotten so into charitable or nonprofit giving, and why do you think you can help change that? Well, I, again, I am trying to bring together these, these two sectors, the tech sector and the nonprofit sector. And, and I think nonprofits right now, uh, I don't want to be the one to say it, but I think they're, they're sort of going at it the wrong way. Nonprofits, uh, including the ones that I've worked with, are, are so eager to get donations from anyone. They're, they're so eager to get the, the dollar donation or hopefully the million dollar donation from, from anyone out there that they're not focusing on one specific community. And since I'm, I'm in the tech community by association, let's say, that's, that's where I wanted to focus. That's where my, my frustration, i.e. passion is, and, and it's, it's where my home is. So I, I wanted to focus on the tech community. Now how do you structure an organization that plays to what the tech industry wants? What do you think that people in tech want from their charitable organizations? That is a fantastic question. I, I did, we did a little bit of fundraising in the tech community for the Guatemalan organization that uh, I also work with. And everybody seemed really excited about it. They, they asked lots of questions. But when it came time to going online, clicking on the button, nobody did, <laughs> which, which for someone working with nonprofits is incredibly frustrating. Um, so in developing Omakase, I, I wrote a big survey, which Tom was generous enough to tweet out to people, and we got a very healthy response asking about people's trends in giving. Do they donate? How often do they donate? Uh, and why don't they donate? Or why do they think people don't donate? Um, number one response was uh, lack of transparency. They were, people were afraid of being scammed. Across the board, every metric, people were afraid of being scammed. Second thing that came back was that people felt they didn't have enough time to do the research themselves. Uh, we're talking about engineers and designers. Uh, they hold themselves to such a high bar for anything that they do. If they're going to do something, they want to know they're doing it absolutely the best they possibly can. Um, so I said, all right, I will take that information and I will build that company. I will take my expertise in the nonprofit world. My background is in evaluating uh, programs and organizations. And I will do the work for you, because you don't have the time to do it. And, and then on the back end, I will tell you exactly where your money has gone. And so what kinds of charities are you investing in? What are the standards that you have for what Omakase you know, selects? Uh, they're impossibly high. Um, <laughs> So I've, I've developed a, a metric system, sort of three-tiered. Uh, most importantly, we're really focusing on small nonprofits who conceptualize themselves as being startups. Uh, not only do I think that's a really nice pairing for the tech industry and people who, who work in startups here uh, to know that they will be investing and helping grow startup nonprofits, but those are the nonprofits who, who desperately need the donations. They're at that place where uh, donations really matter, it, where it'll determine whether someone can take a salary and focus full-time on the work. It'll determine whether they can build a more robust evaluation system. So first and foremost, I'm looking at size. Secondly, we're looking to make sure that they have uh, some sort of evaluation system 
in place to, to see whether or not they're, they're meeting their goals and then whether they're iterating based on the results they get and whether they're transparent about it or not. Uh, if they're willing to share with donors the, the good and, and also the bad sometimes. And then the third thing is making sure that the organizations are doing locally appropriate work. Okay. And what's the response been like? You guys have just been live for about a week here. Yeah. What have you heard from people out there, you know, when they are coming across the site? Uh, there's been a huge amount of support. Uh, it's, it's been wonderful, not only from people who initially signed up for the beta. Uh, I've been working on this for the past four months on my own, and so I had, I've had a lot of coffees, a lot of beers with everyone I possibly know, getting people excited about it, signing up for the day there is a release. And so those folks, of course, have, have signed up and been very excited about it. But then also it's... it's working exactly like what we thought. People will, will tweet about it, they'll post about it on social media, and then more people are coming in and we're able to track them coming in and, and see the, the progress that's happening. So it's going really well. And, and Omakase is a nonprofit, mm -hmm. right? So are. what are your ambitions for growth? You know, what are your sure. long-term plans here? Uh, Long-term plans saturate the tech community. I really, uh, I'm really focused on the tech community right now and, and helping everyone turn this into a movement. I, I really want to show just how generous everyone in tech can really be and, and help the industry become a leader in the field of philanthropy, really. And not just, not just sort of the billionaires who can give millions of dollars. Uh, I don't want to discount that. Really important <laughs> stuff, right? But I, I'm, I'm more interested in reaching so-called every, you know, the, the engineer on the street. I don't know if that's a term or not, but I, I really want to get uh, Joe Programmer who earns $80,000, $100,000 a year and may not be a consistent giver. I want to educate them now so that they will be a philanthropist for life. Great stuff. Well, Teresa, thank you for coming by TechCrunch, yeah. and I'm sure we'll be hearing more in the future. Thanks.